All right, my friends, we got the new guild battle lineup here today with Red Velvet Dragon and Living Abyss, and we're going to break it all down for you in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe on top of that. If you got a question, if you got a comment, let us know because I'd love to hear from you as always, and we'd love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. It's a great spot to find a guild as always. If you're looking for a guild, and welcome to some of the new members here of our guild because we do post uh openings as well so with that down below in today's episode description you can find today's timestamps where we will break down the red velvet dragon and the living abyss in today's episode my friends so let's get into it here because you're here to learn more about today's guild battle maybe some teams and all that fun stuff as always when it comes to cookie run kingdom all right so let's get into it first and foremost we got the red velvet dragon today our team has gotten passed upwards to oh we can actually check it here this is a fun thing if you go to the dashboard here my friends you can see where you have finished so season one we did get to level 106 and we also got to 91 there in season two we got to level 95 and 77 so as you can see right now our our lovely rvd is around 106 and our lovely lovely living abyss is at 77. so a couple things about this let's get into the red velvet dragon as always look at this neko fox here is gaming right now so we can't go in there we actually need to wait a couple minutes which is a fun new rendition by the way and super cool and welcome uh neko fox as well as one of the newest members to our guild so a nice shout out for you there now as we continue on here a couple things a couple key pieces here on the boss information first and foremost we do have the skills passive as you can see once we got past 100 we get to that 200 or sorry we get to that 100 damage so paying attention to some of those things is really big and similar to dragon's breath we did not get to level 200 so you're not going to see that burn there now a couple things around that as well when you're looking for teams if you haven't checked out some of the teams that we've done here and certainly we're going to cover those uh at least one of them here today in our guild battle is this you can come to the guild uh team ideas and see what setup in the previous ones we've ran this one right here my friends today we're going to run a little bit of a different team we're actually going to run this one because i do get a lot of players that ask me about snapdragon yes you can still use snapdragon in this version of the red velvet team on top of that it's an all epic team outside the special cookie here with snapdragon so if you're wondering how to do that you can go choose the team from just like this we're going to go with three go to team ideas and then click apply i believe i showed this in the last one as well however wanted to make sure that you could see this specifically and see exactly how that gets set up it also applies your treasures for you so let's go ahead and go into edit so you can see exactly what's going on here we're more focused on the lovely lovely poison damage here um, instead of what was before and foremost the dark element type um, instead right here so this is a little bit of a different team as well so things to kind of think about differently depending on where you're at as a player now a couple other things here we do have our upfront uh protection here with rebel cookie also some damage and some knockdown power in terms of the or defense reduction we're playing into that here and a little bit of the amplified damage here as well now we're getting all of our poison stacks right here those are all very very key in terms of your success now also and when we think about our treasures we have attack we have uh crit and we have cooldown so some very focused things a couple things that you could think about instead if you wanted to if you um need more defense you can go into disciples magic scroll you could also go on crit if you really wanted to you can go on a harder cooldown with squishy jelly watch um as something else to give you some alternatives to think about there as well as you kind of look at where your treasures are depending on your skill level of your account now additionally here when it comes to gear we can think about gear a little bit differently as you can see um they did not necessarily go to which piece here and they don't give you that recommendation so the toppings are still very important and the biscuits are still very important so a couple things around these ones in particular when it comes to our team we can always or sorry toppings of biscuits we have plenty of guides here on the channel you can check those out here down below in the description or also a great time to like and subscribe to stay in the know for new later content now a couple things on this 
this particularly generally what you are going to want to be is on defense you're going to want to be on defense early on because of the damage that the dragon can do to the upfront team now because of the fact that we're not at level 100 we do want to focus a little bit more on attack so this is where the levels do matter and how you're running your team we're actually going to switch over to attack with this particular cookie now we could also move up our biscuit to give us some more uh survivability with this as well if we do want to swap we can go there um damage resist is great debuff resist we could increase on damage resist bypass is really really nice and that cooldown wouldn't be bad um, if we could take advantage of that now additionally here we're on attack for our lovely margarine here now you can also think about this we got some room to improve here as well so you might want to go back and adjust some of those here we have lovely lovely damage resist bypass which is awesome hp for some more survivability damage resist for more survivability you can move these into attack um we do want the cooldown because we want to make sure those stacks continue to go here um with our summon blob as we like to say additionally here this is a good one um you can think about it a couple ways here we do want to make sure that we have enough cooldowns so we're gaining enough stacks for the amplify um so you could certainly go on cooldown as one option again depending on where you're at maybe you want to focus on attack with the cooldown subset or go uh cooldown with attack subset here we do have these ones as well so look at that we get a little bit more honed in tuned in toppings as well now here we do have attack um, that we can focus on we'll go on this one because i want to show how those things stack as well so yes and we want to keep those stacks on because we are doing the levels and all that stuff so we want to keep that amplified damage going and going and going and gone so we'll select that one then additionally here on snapdragon you can absolutely just have cooldown there um and again beast gets not really gonna matter but you could add more cooldown um there as well just like this so very very important as you think about building out your team as you can see me here um the nice thing is all these cookies right here are available to you in the mileage shop if you need them um as an idea there for you as well because it is primarily an all epic team and a primarily free to play i would say um from that perspective because we can get all the mileage stuff and you can get snapdragon there um from the lovely lovely special way of course all right so there you go my friends nico is out neko is out so we're gonna go at it here with our team today level 48 let's hit it oh a guild mat has finished up the battle updating all right let's go out there we go we go in let's try it again there we are we're in level 48 with our team here today for red velvet dragon As always, we have swag and merch available to you as well. It's a nice way to support the channel. So here is exactly what I'm talking about. The weakness at eight. Um, additionally here, we continue to get the defense down. We get the poisons, we get the amplified debuffs, all the attack down, all these other pieces in there as well. And let's continue to wreck and get damage in. You see that max timer there in the bottom right. We're at 2.5 you can go slower if you want to as well and there you go now one of the nice things about this when you play this one is we do get to keep all those stacks on and keep going it's not broken up and we don't have to reset so wanted to make sure i showed this strategy here for you today versus the darkness type so that you could see something a little bit different as well um and in terms of what may work better for you and your account all right so that is our red velvet dragon team here today now it's time for us to skip over move on over there yes collect those rewards and check out living abyss so in terms of the living abyss couple things last time this is the team that we covered right here um again you can check each of these pieces out we do a lot of damage with this one um, in terms of the team ideas to find living abyss you just got to scroll down a little bit here was the team that we used today we're going to do something a little bit different we will try this one right here um, because it is different yes that's right um, and relative to what we were doing before if you're looking for another team this was a great team that we used before in the past this one again was pretty standard to living abyss so just wanted to share that we're gonna go not there we'll go right here with our dragon team we'll go into our team ideas and then again we'll apply this one here now a couple things on this one in particular once again we do get nice access to each of these treasures in terms of the gear a couple things that we can do absolutely let's go to cookie details here we can add our biscuit 
We can go grab one. Thank you so much. Um, we can go ahead and grab one just like this. Let's go ahead and equip it. There you go. Yes, we can pay for that. Now we're going to go back. We'll level this one up all the way. Max. There we go. Perfect, because it's got four. Very, very nice. Now you can move over just like this. Check out the other biscuits. We got some room to grow on this one. Damage this, bypass damage this. Really, really nice. Again, you can look at a couple different things here. Let's see what we got here in terms of all of our different pieces. Damage resist, HP, damage resist. Some more survivability there. Great one for uh, Linzer. Similar there for Ferret. Debuff, damage resist, HP. Let's go ahead and we'll throw on this one for now. Green Puff, moving on over. There we are. All right. And here we go. Let's grab one of these. We can do this. We can also attune. Oh, we're a little bit off there. We're not going to do that. We can certainly equip it, though. Why not? There we go. Cooldown, damage resist, gives us some survivability. There we go. And similar here. We need to grab a nice one. This one. Ooh, look at that. Not quite enough, though. Uh, let's see. Who do we want to throw it on? Here we go. Let's go ahead and equip this one for now. We'll change that one back later. All right, there we go. And pretty much everything there. Okay, so perfect. Make sure that you make some of those tweaks. As always, we have a lot of room for growth, as I like to say. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this team a little bit more. So a couple things here. We're running really upfront three baddies, yes. The idea is each of these have AoE attacks. They can handle a ton of stuff up front and then kind of pass that damage around and continue to amplify it. As you saw before, this one here um, with Space Donut was in that original team. We had some other stuff in there. We kind of have a double heal going on here though. So one of the things to pay attention to, at least between this team versus the other one, is because we're on that lower level, make sure that you're tweaking for the one that is gonna deal more damage. Now, when it comes to uh, the particular boss, you can see once again where these things scale. 100 uh level 100 deals eight percent of max hp five percent at 50 we never got quite up higher um again my point of view that i'm adding here is that survivability factor earlier on you can definitely go heavier on the attack so going back to those team ideas this team might be the better team for you because you really have one main healer you got macaroon also dealing some doing some healing and our other upfront one doing some healing they're not main healers, they're supporting healers. So you're gonna have to definitely play with what's gonna work better for you. Again, this was the previous old team here. Like I said, we're only on one healer here. So big to think about in terms of how you're gonna run with uh, those pieces. So back to this team, this is the one we're gonna run with though, and some of that strategy behind there. Now, a couple other things here, when it does come to our treasures, you can think about moving these things around similar to last time. You could go on the defense, you could go on the crit side. Um, you can go a little bit more on the cooldown, depending on what's stronger, what works for you. Wanted to call it some of those options. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the gear. Here, we're on uh, Solid Almond. Probably not going to need that out of the gate. Let's actually go down on cooldown, because what I want to do is make sure that we constantly get um, that move set off. Additionally, here, we're on Solid Almond. Here, we're on Crit. Here, we're on cooldown and here we're on we're gonna move to attack on this one so again going back towards some of those different strategies and pieces things that you can think about depending on where your team's guild boss is and oriented towards your team and then oriented towards each of the gear toppings and biscuits as we like to say so once again we do have all these toppings and biscuit guides available to you here on the channel you can check them out and a great time to like and subscribe for newer later content when it comes to those things specifically all right, so there we go, my friends. That is our team. Big difference, though, here. We got 2.9. It was over 3 versus 1.8. We're going to be a little bit slower on it. That's okay. I wanted to make sure that you saw exactly how this one works for us here today. So let's get into it here and go after it. Alright, so you can see all those donuts going in there, dealing all kinds of damage, locking all kinds of stuff down. Huge, huge, huge there. As you can continue to see, lots of great AoE, lots of stun. That's one of the reasons why we're running this. Alright, team, look at this. 
20 seconds left. Lots of damage in there on Stormbringer. Huge, huge damage boost. Very, very nice there. 300 million. Certainly, once again, could be a little bit better relative to the team. We did move up seven levels and contribute towards the guild. Now, again, uh, what I would make that difference to is more focused on that attack and go in with that other one as an example. And you can check out our last video. I'll make sure I have that posted for you on how we did with those teams and some of the previous ones. So that, my friends, is today's episode and everything that you needed to know about the current guild battle, Destiny's Flight 8-3. We did some different teams relative to what we've done before so that you can see exactly how those can work with some commentary from me, yours truly, Mithras here, as we kind of consider some of the options for you depending on where your guild level uh, boss is and relative to yourself and relative to your team as always. Um, like I said, I'll have some of those other videos post down below or you can find them here on the channel. If you still got a question, if you got a comment from today's episode or in general, please certainly ask as always. And on top of that, we'd love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Like I said, it's a great spot if you're looking for a guild and those kinds of things. And we do open slots up for this one here as well. So with that, my friends, I want to close this, bring this home, and just say thank you. Thank you for tuning in, as always. I truly appreciate it, and I really appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community. And on top of that, thank you so much to our members. I really appreciate the additional support. We do have memberships available to you, as always. Something nice there for everyone. And additionally, my friends, we got a swag and merch store and affiliate links. Check them out. They're a great way um, to help. Now, with that, last but not least, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends. We love featuring your stuff here on the channel. And don't forget, get out there, get your guild battles in because your guild needs you. And if you need a guild, you know where to go. With that, we'll see you again soon. Until next time, my friends, keep on running.